Well, 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 how are you all doing this evening? I am your host, the Master Gamer, Rockhawk64, and I want to thank you all for joining me here this evening. Um, <clears throat> a bit of an impromptu thing, uh, but part of it was just like, hey, what if I reacted to the Nintendo Direct? So that's what I'm doing. Um, I have not seen this direct yet. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing this direct. Uh, so we're just going to go over here. And I'm going to see if I have what I need. Okay. Uh, this won't be hard to add a source. Do do. Spoiler alert, there will be games. Okay. Uh, need to shrink that down to about there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <clears throat> okay, that looks good. Uh, I need to turn on my desktop audio. <clears throat> oh, I am so excited. Hello, Lucas. Oh, I'm so excited for this. How are you doing today, Lucas? Um... I don't know what to expect here. Um, I know they mentioned that there is not going to be anything with the Switch successor, so... Um, before we get started, I'm going to just kind of list off some predictions. Because we all know that I always... I, I always get these predictions right, so... My, my, my predictions are flawless. Uh, so... Let's see. So I will say I got spoiled a little bit by Facebook. I know that there's something Legend of Zelda related. So I do know that. Um, other than that, maybe something with Pokemon? Maybe? Uh, I'm... I'm I don't know because I don't think Pokemon ZA is Pokemon Legends ZA is ready for anything yet, so I don't anticipate anything Pokemon unless they're gonna pull some remake out of their ass. Uh which I mean, you know, it's Nintendo. They they, they they'll pull some remake out of their ass. Wait, ads are over for you? Hmm, weird. I thought that they would have already been over because they ran like right as soon as I booted up stream. So you shouldn't have really had any pre-rolls unless you... I don't know. Um, so, you may have missed this, Gabe's, but I got spoiled on something Zelda. I don't know what, but I know there was something Zelda. I'm predicting maybe something Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> my hopes and dreams say I want Mario Kart 9, but I also know that that's probably not going to happen. Not, 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 not probably until the Switch 2. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, like, like the ads are annoying, but uh, I, I have to have them on as an affiliate, uh, unless I want pre-rolls, which pre-rolls hurt, like, actively hurt your viewership, so they're unfortunately a nuisance that we have to live with. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and run up a five-minute snooze, so the next ads will be at, like, 56 minutes. Um, so... Honestly, I really don't know what to expect. I'm going to... I'm, like, this is very broad. And it's like a cop-out. But I'm thinking something Mario. Something Pokemon. Uh, and then that Legend of Zelda thing. And then I don't know what else. Unless... Unless we can maybe, hopefully... Get something about Metroid Prime 4. Or something Metroid. Because, like, it's been a while since... Uh, um, fuck. What's the name? Dread. Yes, Metroid Dread. So, those are my guesses. Uh, we're going to get into this and find out. And I probably will be pausing this. Just so you're aware, I'll probably be pausing this to talk about things. Now, I will say... If I had... Where is my... 
There it is. If I had to, like, have a pipe dream come true, my pipe dream that comes true, which is... It, it, it's never going to happen at this point, but my pipe dream to come true would be uh, some Golden Sun news. So I'm, I would love some Golden Sun news. Uh, but we're going to find out. I may need to turn this up. Let me know if I need to balance the audio at any point when it starts up. Okay, well, that's loud for me, actually. Nintendo Direct. Nintendo! Let's go! Oh! Oh! Would you look at that? Something Mario! Something Mario! Wait! No way. There, There's no way, right? There's no way, right? Chat? Chat? Why? Why is my first instinct Mario and Luigi? Why is my first instinct Mario and Luigi? Hi, DBZ. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. If 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 I'm getting debated here, uh, because like we all know Alpha Dream went bankrupt. If I'm getting debated here, I'm gonna be so upset. Let's find out. Oh come on, Luigi! Like this just screams Mario and Mario and Luigi. Whoa, what the shit? What the shit do we have here? Yo! Yo! Mario with Luigi! Let's fucking go! This is this is the closest I have to a pog face. Let's fucking go! Man, I missed this series! Oh, I can't wait to see what we have in store. Oh wait, we have Bros attacks again? Yo, look at this! Look at this! Oh, <laughs> yes, I need it right now. I need this immediately. Yeah, the voices sound great for them not being Charles Martin, eh? Yo, what the shit! What the shit was that combo attack? Yo! This all- like, look how amazing this looks! Yo, is that one of the new bros attacks? Hi, Peach! Look at this! This looks amazing! Oh, this looks great! I love this! I think I'm gonna actually turn my audio down a smidge. I feel like I'm picking up my mic a bit too much for just what should be regular talking. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Oh, I love it. November 7th. Oh, that's so close. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And Hello, I'll Takahashi. Guide for today's Nintendo Direct. <laughs> yes, half the PCs are not recolored that was toads. The first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Yeah, no kidding. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Now where's Golden Sun? <laughs> Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Evolved bros moves, yes, I love it. I'm here for all of this. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championship Wait. Or on the go. Wait. No. The thrill of the Nintendo World Yo! <laughs> Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. <laughs> oh, this kind of reminds me of like the NES remix. I think it was like on the 3DS. Oh. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually here for this. Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Right, it was on the Wii U too, wasn't it? Completely forgot about that. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. Oh boy. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. 
like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Oh, so basically learn to speed run Mario Bros. A legend challenge? Check out classified information for <laughs> handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode. <laughs> so learn to speed run a game and then race your friends. I'm actually here for that. Where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? No, because I'm I'm, I'm bad at video games. World Championships NES Edition. What? Nintendo Switch, July Dude, that's like that's like Mario next month. Digital version are available now on Nintendo e That is literally a next month. Set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. Wait, like Wait, is 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 that like an actual NES cartridge that you can actually like play in an NES because if so that's actually kind of sick. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Oh. Is this going to be spoilers for the Fairy Tale anime because I haven't really watched very much? <laughs> I have not seen comparatively far into the Fairy Tale. From the hit anime Fairy Tale in this action RPG. I mean, I like Fairy Tale. In the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Spoilers. I mean, I'll, I'll probably forget them because, like, I'm still trying to catch up on, like, One Piece and a bunch of other shows. So, you know, I'll probably forget what's going on by the time I get around to this. Uh, how is my audio, by the way? Is, is, is my audio okay? I would, I would love to know if my audio is okay. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Sweet. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. Excellent. Uh, I don't know why, and this could just be me completely spitballing here, but I am getting some sort of near vibes just from this just from this image. It's probably not near related, but it definitely looks near related, and I just wanted to point that out. From Final Fantasy series creator Great value looking, my Ah. Uh. And composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn based RPG Fantasia. Fantasia? I mean. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. You have my interest. To restore his memories. Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. You have my interest. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target Whoa. multiple enemies at once. Okay, that actually looks kind of sick for a combat map for a combat system. Encounter to a separate dimension and fight them later. Oh. That's like super the interesting. The more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go. That's like super interesting, and I'm here for that. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch. I'm here for it. I'd play that. If I could afford it, I would play it. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. I don't have this yet. Oh, it's basketball. Okay. This is the only way I can ever be good at basketball chat. I'm not very athletic. This is the only way I can ever be good at sports is video games. Pass. And shoot. In two on two matches using motion controls. Try out three point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five streak battles. Yeah, neither do I. Sports the IRL are no fun. <laughs> Sports IRL make my back hurt. Wide in two on two online matches. Yeah, that's like the most. This, this is the most Nintendo Nintendo Direct ever. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch. I mean, at least it's free. You know, we can say that. Oh, what is this? This looks like Dragon Quest. Is this like Dragon Quest game? Because this like has the Dragon Quest art style to me. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see, but like I'm, I'm getting heavy Dragon Quest vibes. Uh. 
Dude, you look like you've seen better days, my dude. Oh. Okay, you're not, like, permanently attached to that. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks great. I'm getting, like, indie game vibes out of this now. Ooh, and it looks so fun. I love a game with some good movement. And this movement looks really top-notch. I wonder if this is going to be a Metroidvania. <clears throat> Although, speaking of Metroidvanias, I need to finally accomplish something I have not done yet. Oh, Mio memories. Ooh, that looks fun. Um, but speaking of Metroidvanias, I need to actually sit down and try and beat a Castlevania game, because every time I try, I get lost. Give up. Maybe something to come on stream. It's an array of cartoon classics. Car wait. Cartoon classics. To a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Oh. Okay, Disney, I don't... I, I, you lost me as soon as you said Disney. Can help. In the, brand new adventure, Mystery and the only good Disney games are, fine, are uh, Kingdom Hearts. Throughout the world. Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update. Okay, I want I want something I can actually do and enjoy, not like something that I'm just gonna be tearing my hair out. Island adventures await. Hello, kitty. <laughs> oh, I just unlocked a core memory. Uh, Lucas, you may remember back in Insert Coin. Uh, I remember we were talking about doing an LP, like a group LP of some Hello Kitty online game just just to make Tamal shit a brick. And that that's a core memory that I just unlocked. We were mostly joking, and we never actually did it, but that would have been hilarious if we had. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Familiar faces, uh, they say, in a franchise I had no interaction with. Yeah, sure, they're, they're, they're familiar. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be a bad game, necessarily. It's just, like, not... that Hello Kitty is not a franchise that I have had much exposure experience with. Yo! Looney Tunes? Huh. I mean, it's a sports game, so it's not, like, the greatest thing ever, but that still looks fun, kind of. It's like Mario Sports, except with Looney Tunes, so the shenanigans are tuned up to 20. Emergency meeting. Wait. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Oh. Wait, since when have they had roles in Among Us? Like, I think I vaguely recall something about roles, but like, uh, when 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 is this a thing? The last time I remember something like this having to happen was in mods. Ah, that makes sense. See, the, the the reason why I didn't know is the as I, I don't have friends to play with. I, I, I also don't really have the time to play with what friends I do have that, that would play this with me. Uh because my, my, my work schedule sucks right now. But like this looks kinda neat. I'm here for it. When eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker, or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks on Nintendo Switch interesting. later today. Okay, was this like something that was already available on like the PC version, and it's just now making its way to consoles because of uh, online shop console stuff things and words and stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, like, I know that's like, like that, uh, before they went fully cross-platform, I know that's why Warframe had to, like, PC got their updates first and they had to bundle a bunch of the updates for consoles because of the way that the console shops work and they, like, approval and all that. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just speculating here. I need to update that game consideration. It's been a worker of two forever now. Okay, I'm here for it, though. Monster army is at your command. Is this something similar to like this Dragon Quest monsters? A realm of monsters. 
those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the life okay, cool. of civilization. Ten of Farmagia <clears throat> must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and this looks kind of interesting, but Magus's army. Plant seeds. Pikmin farming game, yeah. Like, if it wasn't for the farming aspect, I, I would probably be a little bit more interested. They can then be trained for battle. <clears throat> Give commands to your monster. What do you mean more directs need more farming? Every direct so far has had at least one farming sim in it. <laughs> at this point, I think Nintendo's on a speed run to see how fast they can turn everything into a farming sim. Pretty soon Mario Kart's gonna have farming sims. New Pokemon game? Farming Sim. New Mario Kart? Farming Sim included. <laughs> New kick-ass RPG? Of course it's got a Farming Sim. <laughs> Everything is Farming Sims with Nintendo. And exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. <clears throat> yeah, I can definitely see... Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna rewind this a bit. With, with, with this right here, I can definitely see the Pikmin... The, the, the Pikmin comparisons with the way these foxes are attacking and moving around. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call for it's still a farming sim games. And wreak havoc on your foes. Although to be fair, I also haven't really played. I have never actually touched any of the Pikmin games, so you know. Join the rebellion I don't know how they play. In Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch. November I mean, 1st. if you're a Pikmin fan, this looks kind of okay. Donkey Kong? Are we getting another Donkey Kong? Please tell me we're getting another Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country? I have we, we, we haven't had a Donkey Kong Country game in forever. Donkey oh. Kong Country Returns, originally released oh. on the Wii system, <laughs> it's a remake. Barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. It's a remake, okay. <clears throat> I mean, it, it was a fun game from what I remember of it. So, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns is okay. I'm I'm okay with this. Obstacles in the way? Just stop them. Pound them. And roll on through. Yeah. Would have been nice, but like I'm okay with this. Give me just a moment. Uh, I think our food might be here. I'm just gonna keep going though. From Manic but like, yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns was not a bad game, so I'm okay with this. Maybe this will lead. Maybe if this sells well enough, it'll lead to a new Donkey Kong Country game. Even hitching a ride on um, so I'm okay with this. Of transportation methods available. This might be this. This definitely something I can like. I'll I'll, I'll pick up for some content. Eighty appealing levels are in store. Including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Cool. See, I only played the. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I think it's the Wii version. Swings onto the Nintendo Switch system. I don't. I, I, I don't remember what it was on. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Yes, it does. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store. I'm hoping this leads to a brand new game. Next. Please take a look at this. I also have yet to play the, uh, the, 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 the freezing one. Oh. Oh, what is it? Uh, fuck. The sequel to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh. Tropical Freeze. That's what it is. It's Tropical Freeze. I remembered it. Um. So. Like, I have yet to play that, so that, that, that may also be coming in the future. Hmm, gee, a 3D collectathon Donkey Kong game? Hmm. Maybe made by Rare Rare? Hmm. Nah. Nah, there's nothing there, there's nothing like that that exists. Yeah, all the Donkey Kong Country games are on wait. Wait, what about wait, even the first three? Are they like on the NSO or something? Uh like I know the original is. Did they add two and three to the NSO? If they did, that's cool. Let's... Yeah, it's a, okay. Let's see what this is. The time is nigh. 
that, do that, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Actually, who am I kidding? That sounds seriously ominous. Wait! Wait! Dragon Quest? Yes, I'm here for anything Dragon Quest. I love Dragon Quest. Please, show me. Sh sh show me what great wisdom is coming in the Dragon Quest series. Yo, an HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3. I'm here for this. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. I'm here for this. On an epic adventure. I'm here for it, chat. Memorable encounter. I love it. I'm here for it. Give me more. Challenges. Did they do this with any of the other games? And formidable if they did, I need to get them. Give me more Dragon Quest. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. Also, this narrator's voice sounds awesome. I'm here for a check. Give me, 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 give me. Yes. Oh. Oh, it looks so it looks so good considering considering the original was released on the NES. Sorry about the dog in the background. The, we 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 can't we cannot get him under control. Yes, I'm here for it. I may need to replay the original on my own at some point before I, before I pick this up. Oh, I haven't touched the NES Dragon Quest games in forever. Yeah, I remember they were just called Dragon Warrior back then. Wait. The complete trilogy? Yo! 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 I'm here for it! Give me it all! Give me it all! I want all of them. Nintendo Direct Hello, Horiyuji. Dragon Quest 3 no Yes, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I am very much enjoying it. I'm here for it. Who cares? I don't care. I want it all. This is why 3 is coming first, because it's like Star Wars. I, I thought I remember reading somewhere that 3 came before 1 and 2, but, like, still. I, I, I want all of them. Oh, give me them all. Give me them all. I want them all. Give me them all. I want them all. I, I, I never... Okay, this... this I can already say that this Nintendo Direct is better than I had ever... Had... had bleh, had ever hoped it to be. If I could learn to speak the English, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Mouth and tongue. Could 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 you please cooperate with me? Let's okay. With more headlines. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not worried. Um, yeah, I don't know if I... I don't know if you caught this, but I, I did get spoiled on the Zelda thing. I don't know any details, but I know there's a Zelda thing. Because Facebook spoiled me. So, <clears throat> uh, cannot wait to see what's what, what's coming up next. Let's have some fun, Co. Oh, Funko Pops. Say hello to what the sh Jaws? Wait, what 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 the shit Grace am I looking at? Is that Marty McFly? The what? world of Funko is coming to life in what? this action adventure mashup for the ages. What the Play shit am I looking at? Characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. What the hell is this? Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas. This game looks like it should have released like in the 90s with the early 3D. This, I'm pretty sure, that, like, like the, the, the Nintendo 64, even the worst looking Nintendo 64 games look better than this. Bubsy looks, Bubsy 3D looks better than this. And familiar foes, dinosaurs from Ooh, Jurassic Funko World knockoff of Lego. I'm, 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 I'm just confused as to what I'm looking at here. Certainly not toying around. 
unbox the universe. When Funko Fusion pops onto the tent. I swear, if this uses a Toys to Life type thing, like Skylanders and, you know, games in that vein, I am going to absolutely despise this. That's honestly the big reason I despise Skylanders. If it, if it wasn't for that, I might consider giving Skylanders a try, but, like, as it is, the fact that I have to buy toys to, to, to unlock more characters, no. Also, the fact that they put Spyro's name on the first one just to sell, ju just to start the series and sell it. Those are my two biggest gripes with that. If this is the same thing, I am going to absolutely despise it. September 13th. <laughs> We've got a smorgasbord of spooky... Silly and strategic games. Like, okay, what do you mean by that exactly? <gasps> Ready for an Yo! Yo! Luigi's Mansion 2. Yo. I started playing that on the 3DS, but like, now that I can just get all three of them on the Switch, man, I would love to do some content on all three Luigi's Mansion games. Foolish proportions. Summon your courage Hello? and explore Hello? multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps. And I've only played up to the first mansion of Luigi's Mansion 2. I've only completed the first one. But like they're 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 not really doing anything too spoilery. It's just like clips and bits. So. Meet the quirky little Dampa Man. What the shit? Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG what adventure. What the fuck is this? Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Uh, all sorts of outfits. Is this like Pikmin meets Metopia? Is 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 that what I'm looking at? It feels like I am looking at Pikmin meets Metopia, and I'm confused as hell by what I'm seeing. Wait, this th this was on the 3DS. <laughs> I this is the first I've ever heard of this game. Decorate your island however you'd like. Oh, and so more. it's like Pikmin meets. Four players in local co-op can team up. To... So, yeah, I, I I saw Genius Sonority, and I'm sitting like, there's a name. Like, have have they even made anything between these two games? I'm sure they have, but like, I have not seen the name Genius Sonority since I t since I played Coliseum and XD. But this here just looks like a, a weird mix of Pikmin, uh, Animal Crossing, and, uh, <laughs> I forgot what else I said. Oh, Metopia. This looks like some weird mix of these three games, and it's, it just feels like an unholy abomination. To catch special Denpa Man. The new Dempa Man is free this... to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Oh, cool. It's a timed exclusive. We love those. <gasps> yes! In this tower defense installment of the Metal oh, Slug series. I love the Metal Slug games. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. I love the Metal Slug games. I haven't played any in forever. I'm here for this. And build out your deck to gimme, 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 gimme. <clears throat> can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Give me, please. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. <clears throat> oh, cool. Too bad I don't have money, but when I get money... Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stage oh, I have not... I've, I've not heard of this... Of, of this series. The I guess it's... I mean, I guess it's a series now that there's a second game, but, like, I haven't heard of it, so... I might look at it because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for a good roguelike. Yeah, a traditional Metal Slug game would be great, but, like, what... what like, a, I agree, a traditional Metal Slug game would be fantastic, but what we're getting here seems pretty good, and I'm here for it either way. More classic titles are on the way. <gasps> play Link's classic 16-bit adventure. Yes, please. Up online to explore randomized dungeons in the Legend of Zelda. I have always wanted to play the Four Swords games, but I have never. Okay, bots. Cool. Hang on. 
I need to fix the bot because uh that's not supposed to be on <clears throat> yeah i i never got the chance to play the four swords games because i didn't have any for like i had friends that i that that would play it with me but we didn't have like all of the stuff to play it all so i'm i'm here for this four swords give it to me Yo! Experience the remake of Samus's Zero Mission. In Metroid Zero Mission. Zero Mission was fun. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Wait. Wait, since when are when is there a Mature 17 Plus collection of games for the N64? I mean, I never cared for 2 Rock. And I see that this is to rock, but like, I, I didn't know that this collection of games was a thing that existed. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in <clears throat> Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And. Whoa. Into yes! To end their alien yes! Yes! Now with online multiplayer. Give me perfect dark. Oh, I haven't played this game since I was a kid. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the best Nintendo Direct ever. We're, on, we're only halfway through it, and this is already the best Nintendo Direct ever. I'm here for it. Set sail to save the day. What is this? This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Um, should 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 I be worried about that comment, DBZ? Should 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 I be worried about that comment? I will take all of this girl. Showing her on a journey to save her friend Ash. In this new installment okay. in the Phantom Brave series. I've never heard of these games. It looks kind of cool, though. Take on tactical turn-based battles. Oh. Where you combine the phantoms you befriended. With Is this like a tactical RPG? I am always worried about DBZ's comments. I don't know them as well as you, but I, I know them well enough to know that I'm always worried about their comments. to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine hmm. with Morona herself for show stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. I mean this looks okay. Not not my cup of tea, but like Hey. You know what? If you're a fan of the series, then I'm happy for you. I really am. But it's not my cup of tea. Which next year? This one's gonna take you for a ride. Street Fighter. Seven oh. arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch. Marvel vs. Capcom. Yo. Clash in X Men vs. Street Fighter. I'm actually okay with this. Marvel vs. Capcom 2: New Age of Heroes. <clears throat> take down the Kingpin in the beat 'em up side scroller, The Punisher, and more. I'm okay with this. Training mode to polish your fighting skills and I mean, I'm not like super big into fighting games, but like I'm 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 here for this. Or play co-op. <clears throat> That's what's it poking. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen ha! to music from each game. Crossover. Ah! I love it. Funs. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics <coughs> launches on Nintendo Switch this year. I mean, hey, I'm here for it. Oh, Mario Party. The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. I don't know how to feel about this. Jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party. So I'm going to go ahead and say this right here. 
uh, is going to be a hit or a miss, and I really hope it's a hit, because, like, Super Mario Party was disappointing, and if this is anything like that, I'm going to be very upset, because I wasted my money with Super Mario Party. Any games get in? Super Mario Party Jamboree. Oh, it's got the super name on it. I'm, I'm, I'm already skeptical. compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice Item, you can move up to 40 spaces with okay. a roll. Okay, I mean, this looks kind of interesting, but I'm gonna have to see, like... Of the tide can change your path. Like, like, and uh, really it's just gonna have to be a wait and see on this. Blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games okay. make their return. Some mini games are action-packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controller. Oh, God damn it! See, this right here, this is what made Super Mario Party suck. Because of the fact that you could only use the Joy-Con. If that's the case on this one, then I don't think I'm going to be picking it up. For 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to There enjoy. better be, there better be other ways to control. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Koopathlon mode. <clears throat> Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. I'm skeptical on this one. I am very skeptical of this one because this doesn't look like it's going to be... Like, th this feels like it's just taking everything that made Super Mario Party Super Mario Party and capital and just, like, doubling down on it. And, like, I thought Nintendo would have caught the backlash of that. So I am not super happy with this one. Uh, I, th this, this may be a skip for me just because it's like... Oh, no, use only the Joy-Con. Don't, like, have any fun with Mario Party. The, 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 it just, it, it doesn't... Yeah, I suppose Super Mario Party actually sold well, which kind of sucks, but, like, that was, that was before we all knew how bad it was. Mario Party series. Super Mario Give us a Party real Mario Party game, please. With new boards, mini-games, 20-player online gameplay, and more... Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. Give us a real Mario Party, you cowards. And now, please take a look at this. What is this? Oh, this is what I got spoiled on. Okay, cool. We're finally to the Zelda bit. Get him, Link. Get him, Link. Because people on Facebook don't know how to not post spoilers. <laughs> because people on Facebook don't know how to not post spoilers. As soon as I saw Zelda and uh, I caught a glimpse of something I didn't recognize, I immediately clicked out of Facebook and said I'm staying off of social media the rest of the day. Which is weird because usually it was... It's other social media that spoils me. Like, most of what I do on Facebook is just follow, like, a bunch of, like, fandom pages and stuff. So the fact that I got spoiled off of Facebook has me super pissed. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? You know what? I will always take more Zelda, though. So, like, at the end of the day, we'll... At the end of the day, we win. No! No, Link. No. Wait. Is this a playable Zelda? Is this maybe a playable Zelda? No fucking way that this is a play- Like, this is like where we play Zelda. No fucking way, right? Like, I'm here for it if that's the case. Give me 
playable Zelda. Yo! Echoes of Wisdom? Give me a good playable Zelda game where you play the... Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma. Hello, Aonuma. Actually, you know what? This is going to be my default on this one. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Give me, please. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Give me this right now. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we want I hope to not. create a new gameplay <coughs> style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. I mean, Zelda is not a sword sword user. To explain more, please take a look at this video. <laughs> Give me this game right now. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. I am getting now, uh, alone, Link Between Zelda Worlds vibes. The fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod and sets the off tri -rod? On a across Hyrule to save her kingdom. You go, Zelda. By waving you go, the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of oh, something, this looks interesting. you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Oh, Even this looks if there's interesting. a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Oh, Just this... Like that. I love this. <clears throat> you can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Give me this. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. I have to say, I love how they're giving us way more creativity in puzzle solving. I love how they're just giving us so much more freedom. Look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. Wait. No fucking kidding. No fucking way. That is dope as shit. Abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key after all. Yes. Give me this. I'm here for it. I want this right now. I want this in my hands right the fuck now. In a high rule without link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. I want this right the fuck now. Give me. How was that? I, hope I want it right now, Aonuma. Put it right into my hands. Aonuma, reach, reach through the internet, Aonuma. Hey, give this to me. Why, why, why would you want an echo of me? I'm useless. Give me this game right now. Put it right in my hands and I'll start streaming it right the fuck now. Fuck the rest of the direct. Give me this. Each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom launches. That is so close to my birthday. This is like a birthday gift from Nintendo. That's what I'm considering. This. It is so close to my birthday. Give me. September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series. Cool, I don't care about the Nintendo Switch Lite, just give me the fucking game. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Yes, please, give it to me right now. I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Give it to me right now. Let's see. I don't want to wait. You owe me, Nintendo. Let loose and party on. Oh, cool. A game series I don't care about. Skip. <laughs> Sadly, I'm reacting to all of it games. I mean, hey. Again, if you're a fan of the series, I'm happy for you. But this is not my game. I don't even know half of these fucking songs anyways. Watching this... Watching this makes my back hurt.
pass. A new Lego adventure is oh, on the cool. Horizon. I get to stay on this face because it's another fucking it's Lego game. In Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save I mean, I haven't even played any of the Horizon games, so what makes you think I'm going to buy this Nintendo? Dive deep into the cauldrons. If I want to play a Horizon game, I'll play an actual Horizon game. Locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. <laughs> they put Horizon Hero. They put Horizon Zero Dawn on the Switch. This is This is her this is this is a kid at the grocery store just like, Mom, I want Horizon Zero Dawn, and the mom is like, We have Horizon Zero Dawn at home. And this is Horizon Zero Dawn at home. That's what this is. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw, because yeah, that's that, that that's totally creative and original. And customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces. Cool, just what I want to do. I want to bring one of my friends along and torture them with this shitty looking game. <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't really care for a lot of the Lego games. this holiday. Journey Yo, the, this game is coming to Switch? There, I've heard so many good things about this game. Like, I don't know how it's going to look, but hey, I'll, I'll play the cute cat game. No, kitty! No, kitty! No! Oh, poor kitty. Separated from their family and friends. Explore Poor alongside kitty. a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Move like a cat to make your way through the city. I'm here for this though. Be careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around. Including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep it run, Kitty, run to into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. You got this, Kitty, run. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch. I'm here holiday. for this. I'm here for this. Welcome home, Hobbit. The Lord of the Rings game. wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings. Now, oh, this is just existence. like a this, this is a Lord of the Rings life sim. Of, of all the things I was expecting out of this direct, I don't. Okay, out of, if I would have ever made a bingo card for this, I don't think Lord of the Rings life sim would have ever been on it. Of course, it's a farming simulator. <laughs> Badass fantasy series with orcs and like magical swords and dragons and dwarves and huge ass battles. Let's turn it into a farming sim, said Nintendo. Decorate your home and settle <clears throat> into life in the Shire. But like As a th this, to the little haven this would Bible, not have been on a bingo card if I had ever made one for this. Work together to solve problems and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden. Like, it seems kind of cool if you'd like into the life sim stuff, and, like, if you like, if you like, Lord, if you like Lord of the Rings and life sims, this game seems kind of cool, but, like, I'll personally pass. Oh, we're also nearing the end. That makes me sad. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. <coughs> Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. I may throw up another five minutes news just to keep ads off. Interrogate checkmate. No way, not the Ace Attorney trilogy. Or not or the Ace Attorney. Yes! Ace Attorney Investigations! Yes! I love these games! Side of Japan are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. I am here for it. Prosecutor Miles Edward, take the yes, out of the I will. I will gladly replay these games. Gather information, especially since we never got an official translation of the second one. It's just a fan translation. Give it to me. Challenging cases. Give me this right now. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character yes. designer. 
or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. No fucking Take way. A break from your investigation to explore the gallery. Yes, please give me art, music including orchestral arrangements. And give more. me now. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth. Yes. Uh, as to whether or not I will stream it, I don't know. There will probably be some form of content on it. I may stream it. Um, so, like, fun fact, because uh, my friend Darth Bowser said that my, my emote swapping here, just, like, sudden swaps reminded him of the older Ace Attorney games, is why I decided not to have my uh, transition animations for my ToonTuber. So, like, seeing Ace Attorney... And knowing that that was the inspiration. Also, hey, this came right from Shi Long Lang. So, you know, give me all of this. I'm here for this. I did throw on another uh, five minute hold on the ads. Okay, what is this? I don't... Is this, like, maybe some, uh... Well, well... I'm all of a sudden getting Persona vibes. Or Shin Megami Tensei vibes. One of the two. Dangan Ranpa, basically? How does that work? a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While uh, Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Okay, I see where you're getting along now. Their mission is to defend the school from so it's like enemies. It's like Dengen Ranpa in a tower defense. An academy shrouded in secrecy. <clears throat> Hey, look! It's Dan Rumpa, but without the murder. This hundred-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life. The creators of Is it? Is the hundred line last Is this what happened? Is this what's going on with the world while Dan Rumpa's going on? Uh, I will say I've only played the first Dan Rumpa game. It was actually kind of fun, actually. Not gonna lie. But also, hell yeah. Embark on a saga spanning generations. Saga games? A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching oh, on to Nintendo okay. Switch. Uh, I'm not super thrilled about this because this is like one of those big RPG series that I just never got into. Like the Tales games or the Trails games, but like, hey, if you're a fan of the series, I'm happy for you. You've launched a surprise attack. The enemy was shocked. And formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, oh. where the action order is key. Innovative features like united attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? I won't. Order will you fight the seven heroes? I won't. Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Cool. I choose to be the absent hero that leads the world into doom and destruction because he's not there. Your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. They've already won. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch. I mean, it looks cool. Don't. Don't get me wrong, the game the game looks cool, but like we hope you're excited. I don't know that I will pick it up. I'm excited. No. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh boy. Let's see what they say for the end. One more thing. Yo! Metroid! Yo! Is this like... What is this, though? What kind of Metroid is this? Is this like a sequel to Dread? Because this looks like Samus' ship from Dread. Samus! 
My girl, how's it going? Yes, I know pre-rolls are on. <gasps> are we finally getting a look at Metroid Prime 4? Are we finally getting a look at Prime 4? Because if so, that means I need to play Prime 3 ASAP. Yo. Let's fucking go. I'm here for it. I'm hype for it. I want it right now. Also, look how pretty it looks. Look at how pretty it looks. Oh my god, I am here for it. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Yes, give me. Give me. Also, what do you mean by spoilers? No way. Are we getting Prime 2? Is this like the Prime 2, Prime 3 remake that we've been... Okay, no, I, I hyped myself up for that. That's just... That's, that was just the release date. But, like, still, yes, give me it. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. I'm so excited for that. After a very long it looks so fucking good. We are finally <clears throat> able to share more information about this title. Yeah, after basically everyone... For 2025. Yes. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to <clears throat> Samus Aran's new adventure. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Switch 2 launch title. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Okay, um, thoughts. Amazing Direct. I loved it. Uh, I'm here for most of it. Mario and Luigi I'm here for. NES Championships I'm here for. Fantasian I'm here for. Uh, let me see here. To do, to do. The uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns remake I'm here for. Dragon Quest remakes I'm here for. Luigi's Mansion, Metal Slug, the uh, Nintendo NSO stuff, Marvel vs. Capcom, The Legend of Zelda, obviously, Stray, Ace Attorney, Metro Prime 4, give me it all. I'm here for it all. Um, so, this was a, this was a fantastic direct, uh, I am very pleased overall with this direct, even if there were a few skips for me. Um, now, as far as stream stuff goes, I'm probably going to be, for now, sticking to streaming on Thursdays and Sundays, which are my days off, just because of my work schedule. Um, so we will be starting Dark Dawn here soon, as that was the runner-up for the most voted game in my poll of what to do next, since I didn't really care for Outer Wilds. Um, so, keep an eye out for that. Uh, the stream overlay is going to be getting changed here soon, as soon as the first batch of art for my Tuber is finished, which there's still just a couple of more idle animations, which you may have noticed some of them playing. Um, so there's a couple of more idle animations that I'm waiting on, and then there's some canned animations. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm probably going to have an update to the emotes and a custom-made stream overlay from my artist, and then, uh, there will be another batch of ToonTuber updates after that. So, um, I don't really have much to say. I'm just going to kind of end stream off here. This was just an impromptu, I want to react to this. Games, I've already beat that game. I've already beat that game. It was fun, and it's on my YouTube. If you want to, if you, if you want to relive the memories, it's on my YouTube. But uh, so Thursdays and Sundays probably, and are the game plan until uh, because like things are changing at my job, and I may have to be getting a new one. I don't know yet. Um. So. Uh, until I figure out what's going on with that, I'm probably just going to be sticking to the days that I'm off, which will probably mean that they're going to be, like, starting at, like, 3 or 4 o'clock Eastern, or not Eastern, but Central Time. 
and then run to like seven or eight maybe so um just keep an ear out it, as you can see there i am a member of the upload gaming twitch uh, stream team and that is where i post all of my stream updates uh in terms of like polls and what to do next because that's like my primary discord that i'm in although some of you probably came from other discords so i will obviously you know like be posting there too but like that's where all my primary updates are uh, ads are just about here, so I want to thank you guys for coming out and for watching. This VOD will be sticking around for, like, on YouTube. Um, yeah, you're in Central Time Zone, I believe, same as me, games, because it's a little past 7 for me. So, uh, thank you guys for coming out and for watching, and I hope that you folks have enjoyed, and I will catch you all on Thursday. Yes, we do. I'll catch you all on Thursday, so until then, keep on gaming and rock on.